Ever wondered about the dark side of the papacy, the scandals, the corruption, and the downright eyebrow-raising moments that history textbooks conveniently skip over? Well, hold on to your Zucchetto because today, we're diving deep into the murky waters of the Vatican to count down the top five worst popes in history. Octavianus, Pope John XII ascended to the papal throne at a remarkably young age in 955 AD. He is believed to have been in his teens or early 20s, making him one of the youngest popes in history. His papacy, lasting until 964, is remembered as one of the most scandalous and controversial periods in the history of the papacy. He was known for his extravagant and indulgent lifestyle, far removed from the spiritual obligations of his position. Under his rule, the Vatican was said to have become a hotbed of moral decadence and worldly pleasures. One of the most notorious aspects of John XII's papacy was his disregard for celibacy, openly flouting the church's teachings on chastity. He was reported to have engaged in numerous affairs, surrounded himself with concubines, and even turned the papal palace into a haven for gambling and entertainment, hosting lavish parties and revelries. Reports suggest that he might have been involved in simony or the selling of church offices and positions, and is said to have even ordained a bishop in a brothel. John XII's behavior was met with widespread condemnation, both within and outside the church. It triggered a crisis of legitimacy for the papacy, challenging the moral authority of the church and tarnishing its reputation. John XII often found himself embroiled in conflicts with regional powers, sometimes resorting to alliances and actions considered unbecoming of a pontiff. His demise was as controversial as his rule. John XII reportedly died under mysterious circumstances at a young age, some accounts suggesting he was killed by a jealous husband after an affair with his wife. Make the Four. Born as Sergius, his ascension to the papal throne occurred during a period known as the Seculum Obscurum or the Dark Age of the Papacy. His predecessor, Pope Leo V, was overthrown and murdered in a coup, and Sergius seized the papal office amidst this turmoil. As a matter of fact, Sergius is suspected to have been involved in the deaths of his two predecessors, Leo V and Christopher. Sergius III's pontificate was also marred by accusations of immorality and corruption. His alleged relationship with Marozia, a Roman noblewoman, fueled rumors of scandalous behavior within the Vatican. Marozia was believed to hold significant influence over Sergius III, leading some accounts to even claim that their relationship produced an illegitimate child who would later become Pope John X. The papacy during Sergius III's time was embroiled in political strife, with various factions vying for power, and this atmosphere of chaos and uncertainty affected the historical documentation of events. His legacy remains one of the most debated and controversial among the list of popes throughout history. Pope Alexander VI, born Rodrigo Borgia, ascended to the papal throne in 1492, inaugurating a period filled with opulence, scandal and controversy within the Vatican. Rodrigo Borgia was a man of ambition and cunning, utilizing his political prowess and connections to secure the papacy. As Alexander VI, he wielded power with an almost unparalleled zeal, navigating the intricate web of Renaissance politics with finesse, but at the cost of moral integrity. His papacy is synonymous with nepotism. Alexander VI bestowed cardinal positions and lucrative appointments upon his children, most notably his son Cesare and daughter Lucrezia. This blatant favoritism toward his offspring sparked public outrage and fueled accusations of corruption within the papal court. The Vatican under Alexander VI resembled a palatial scene from a hedonistic epic, rather than the spiritual center of Christianity. Extravagant parties, lavish banquets and indulgent celebrations became routine affairs. Wine flowed freely, mingling with the rumors of scandalous liaisons and affairs that echoed through the papal chambers. Alexander VI was embroiled in controversies that shook the foundations of the church. He was accused of simony, selling ecclesiastical positions for profit, and was widely criticized for neglecting spiritual matters in favor of political maneuvering. The Borgia family's grip on power extended beyond Rome, influencing European politics and stirring alliances and conflicts that reached far and wide. 
Cesare Borgia's military conquests and Lucrezia's scandalous marriages became the talk of courts across the continent casting shadows over the papacy's moral authority. His personal life was riddled with rumors of promiscuity and debauchery. These tales of excess and indulgence, whether factual or exaggerated, added layers of scandal to an already controversial pontificate. Pope Urban VI emerged onto the papal stage in 1378. His ascension marked the beginning of one of the most tumultuous periods in papal history, characterized by fiery temperament, conflicts, and a schism that divided Christendom. Urban VI was a man of fervor, possessing a strong desire to cleanse the church of corruption and inefficiency. He initiated reforms aimed at addressing financial mismanagement and moral laxity within the clergy, demanding strict adherence to discipline and religious principles. However, his zeal for reform soon transformed into an uncompromising and authoritarian demeanor. Urban VI's fiery temper and harsh treatment of clergy members who opposed him alienated many within the church. His confrontational style sparked fear and resentment among the ecclesiastical elite, leading to growing discontentment and opposition to his rule. The situation escalated into a full-blown crisis when a faction of cardinals, displeased with Urban VI's governance and temperament, convened to elect a rival pope, Clement VII, in Avignon. This decision marked the onset of the Western Schism, a period where Christendom witnessed two rival claimants to the papal throne. The Schism plunged Europe into confusion and turmoil, dividing nations and loyalists between the Avignon Papacy and Urban VI Roman Papacy. This split in allegiance led to a chaotic period where conflicting loyalties and political interests clashed threatening the unity of the church and undermining its moral authority. Despite Urban VI's genuine intentions for reform, his uncompromising nature and aggressive approach inadvertently contributed to the fracturing of the church. His fervor for purging corruption ultimately led to a rift that persisted for nearly four decades until the Council of Constance resolved the schism in 1417. Pope Stephen VI, who held the papacy from 896 to 897 AD, is remembered for the Cadaver Synod. This event involved the trial of his predecessor, Pope Formosus, who had already passed away. Stephen VI ordered the exhumation of Formosus's body and dressed it in papal vestments for a grotesque trial. The deceased pope was found guilty of various charges, tarnishing Stephen VI's reputation and the papacy. The aftermath saw Formosus's body stripped, fingers cut off, and thrown into the Tiber River. This incident highlights the political intrigue and manipulation within the church during that era. The Cadaver Synod serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers of power struggles and the disregard for basic decency and respect for the deceased. History's Most Controversial Pontiffs Their actions stand as a stark reminder of the complexities and darker chapters within the walls of the Vatican. By acknowledging these tumultuous periods, we confront the realities of power and its potential for misuse. I'm sure we left someone out, so let us know in the comments below. Do you have any stories about weird or strange occurrences in history? Share them with us in the comments below. We're always looking for new video ideas. And hey, if you enjoyed this journey through history's wild adventures, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us with the YouTube thingy. Until next time.